Hello, everybody. Welcome back to week two of the Community Super League. We have Marshall Sutcliffe versus Paul Cheon, a matchup of Spider Spawning for Life <laughs> versus Hallelujah. What do you think of these hands, Kenji? Uh, let's see. Marshall's got a pretty decent one. I think this is an easy snap keep for him. Uh, he doesn't have any blue sources, but a mulch is going to dig four cards deeper uh, and it's going to put everything that's not a land in the graveyard and all the lands into hand, not just one, all of them. It's great. Yeah. Uh, Paul also has a pretty good one, although he does have an awkward and treat the angels already in his hand. And I think he just drew a he devastation just, tide for this yeah, turn. So. Mastery. Yeah, but he's playing so many of them. Like It's not unlikely that he would draw them, though. Of course, he would rather miracle them. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I think the uh, Thraven Inspector is not going to be too, too good versus all the big scary monsters of, of Marshall. It's got, it, you know, not just that, we've got like the good versus evil, right? The zombies and the spiders versus the humans and the angels. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty flavorful matchup, I'd say. I will say this is pretty, yeah, you're right, this is pretty flavorful. This is like the angels and the well-doers of Innistrad versus, I guess, like the merc lurkers and <laughs> graveyard dwellers. <laughs> Marshall unwisely playing deranged assistant. That makes no sense. Why didn't he just cast the Boneyard Worm? It would have died immediately. <laughs> I mean, kind of nonsense play by Marshall right there. I, There's deranged assistant. Uh, you can put one card in your library into your graveyard, and you can add one mana to your mana pool. So it helps him ramp, but it also gets stuff into his yard, which is exactly what he's trying to do. Yeah, definitely one of the better turn two plays for Marshall. And it mills another assistant, which is actually notable. If you look at Marshall's hands, he has a ghoul tree in it. Hey, you were talking about the Straven Inspector doing nothing? Look at this guy. He's gonna he's he's on chumping, he's on blocking duty, actually. <laughs> <laughs> From now on. See, Paul just wants to buy a lot of time against this, but here comes the worm. <laughs> Which is now castable and has power and toughness because Marshall has what, Huzzah. two range assistance? How big is it? Is a two two? Yeah. yeah. Alright, looks like Paul's gonna end a turn thought scour, but Marshall's you know well on his way. Uh Paul doesn't have much to do to deal with all of these. Why? Yeah, it looks like, uh, I mean, those Thought Scours might draw him into something uh, more efficient, but, you know, th this is the problem with miracles, right? You have a miracle in your hand, and if it's in your hand, it's not a miracle. You're going to have to pay, pay the honest price for it. Mm -hmm. I think Terminus, I mean, obviously Terminus is going to be one of the, the crucial cards for Paul, but, yeah. like, Devastation Tide just bounces everything to Marshall's hand, and they're so cheap already, you know? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, so it looks like Marshall's off to a pretty good start here. We could actually see a Ghoul Tree come down this turn. <laughs> oh, for those of you at home, Ghoul Tree is a bananas. It is huge. It's uh, <laughs> one green, seven colorless for a 10-10, uh, and it costs one less for each creature card in your graveyard. So Marshall, well, he has at least, what, four creatures? In, three creatures had, in his graveyard right now. I think now. he just hit another one, so I think he's up to three. And yeah, there's two mulches in the graveyard, so presumably this guy's going to come in soon. This scob might get a couple more critters in there. Let's see. Yeah, there's at least a splinter fright in there. Oh my gosh, his boneyard oh, worm's more. a 6-6. Six, six. Yo, yeah, this tree's coming down. This ghoul tree is happening. Right, so Boneyard oh. Worm gonna attack. So Marshall, I, I'm not wanting to attack the Screeching Scout for some reason. Yeah, so right. just... let's see if he can get a miracle. Ugh. Come on, Daddy Cheon. Ah! That looked another. like an evolving wild. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a miracle. How many miracle jokes can we make during this match? Um, I mean, are you gonna sing Hallelujah when when it actually happens? Ah. So I'm kind of expecting it now. I will there if you. It is! Do. Oh, Paul it led happened. with a second blue source, so he can't entreat the miracle. Oh, no! no, Paul, please. Oh, so punished. Is is there a chance that Marshall kills him this turn? Uh, he's a twenty. I mean, how big is that? I mean, it depends, right? So we're gonna see a mill, and we hit enough creatures. That Bonier Worm is currently a six six, I think. So it's already getting in for eight, nine, ten. I, I guess he'd have to have an insane hit to actually get there, but... Oh, oh, there's a knot of the bone going to the yard. Yeah, and that's just going to buy Marshall a ton of time, too. Not like he even needs it. Jeez. Yeah, this is savage. All right, oh, sack no, a clue. clue. <laughs> Come on! Oh, oh, God, another Evolving Wilds. <laughs> so I think if I'm Marshall, I don't cast out the ghoul tree. I, you don't need to. And, you know, 
also, if Marshall has already seen a couple of cards from this, he hasn't seen a single miracle, but, mm -hmm. you know, Marshall's a smart player. He can make a pretty good assumption about what this is, and if that's true, he's going to know that Terminus may be coming in here anytime soon. Devastation time, too. Devastation Tide, as well. Oh, Marshall, not like this! Not like this! Uh, well, now this could actually give Paul an opening. It was I I exactly this that gives him a chance. Oh, yep. So there it is, the Ghoul Tree Attempt at Miracle! Now ah. I want Chianda to get it. Please? Oh, gosh! Oh, oh, think so, twice? no, that's still an out. He drew Think Twice, so he can do it on uh, Marshall's turn. And potentially hit a terminus or a devastation tide. Shh. Come on, baby. Sure, yeah. Wow, that was so Marsh exciting. I kind of, I kind of wanted him to hit it right at the I, end after I Marshall did the tree. <laughs> I, I want Paul. I want Paul to to hit it just because Marshall has overextended so far. Oh, and you know what? Terminus is insane versus Marshall's deck because it puts him on the bottom of the library. Right. So you just get yeah, like he'd be right. fine if they went to the graveyard, you know. Because he has so how many Nod of the Bones are in his graveyard? Just one right now. But yeah. that's that's a ton of life. <laughs> All right, this is good. Oh. All right. Well, Chion, here we go. One last chance. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. Then your deck. Then your deck. Come so, on. So he's gonna get a planes. <laughs> we get one shot. Let's see. So he has four terminus and three devastation tide. I think so. so something around those numbers. How many cards does he have in this, like, 40? Uh, the odds aren't that great. Yeah, three tides, four terminus. Alright, yeah, let me pull it up real quick. <sighs> One time. <laughs> lucky Chion. Come on. Come on, Lucky Chion. You're found Lucky Chion for nothing. <gasps> the suspense. No! Oh, it's Tulio! <laughs> <sighs> All right, so Marshall and his graveyard this. critters take game one versus Paul Chion. Wow. Uh, wow, so one time lucky Chion, almost never lucky. <laughs> never lucky, all right. Sideboard cards. Yeah, so taking a look at the sideboard here, let's see what... It uh, looks like Paul was tinkering with the idea of Ava since he was moving them over to the side. Uh, declaration uh, Oh, he's, he's, he's bringing in Descend Upon the Sinful, a.k.a. Descend Upon the Fisherman. I still. Why do people call it descend because upon? Because the French translation of descend, descend oh, upon the sinful says right. descend upon the fish. I saw that on social media. You're right. Oh. <laughs> I, I kept looking at the picture and I'm trying. I'm like zooming in and I'm like holding the card in real life. And I'm like, what? What are people? You what, know, what, what? What? Why the poor fisherman? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, so, it's pretty. It's pretty funny. Uh, maybe explain the story for people who don't know. It was mistranslated in... Yeah, so for anybody at home, there's a card called Descend Upon the Sinful. It's a new card in Shadows Over Innistrad, and it's a Wrath. It's a six-mana Wrath for four colors and two white. And it reads, Exile our creatures, and if you have Delirium, you get a 4-4 four, four angel on your side of the battlefield. Uh, so the French translation of this card, the French card, it's called Descend Upon the Fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> and someone noticed, of course, and they started talking about it on social media, and it just kind of picked up because it's pretty funny. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, All right, I didn't actually see what Marshall was bringing in. Uh, he has not. Lab Maniacs in his sideboard. Memories Journey? I, I have no idea. How can Marshall uh, make a Lab Maniac kill work? Like, can he, can he force a mill? Or is he just, like, trying to go through his deck and eventually hope to have Lab Maniac out in play? Yeah, his deck his deck can go through itself really, really quickly. Um, although I don't know if he has any instant card draw effect. I think he just casts it out and hope it hope he goes to his next turn. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, looks like we're gonna be heading over here to game number two between Marshall Sutcliffe on Spider Spawning and Paul Chion on Miracles. What about these hands? Uh, Marshall's hand looks kind of slow. I know there's another card to the left and it looks like it could be a creature, but between just uh, Silent Departure and Mulch, he doesn't really have that much going on. I think Mulch is such a good card oh. in this matchup. But the yeah, there's a Scob. All right. Yeah, you're, you're, you're cooking with something there. And then Paul has, what, a couple of lands, Jason Ravel of Secrets, Sting Twice, Feeling of Dread. Ooh, a Thraven Inspector. Like, a little late to the party, but he still, <laughs> he still wants the party. Or she. Paul's got his miracle bluff on, so it always stops in his draw step. I'm sure Marshall knows what's going on just because of that. 
If you guys notice, it always pauses when Mar uh, when Paul draws his card. On yeah. The, you know, just as like, oh, oh, did I? Uh, uh. Yeah. Ooh, the Gidrog monster is a draw for Marshall. That's going to be cool if, if it ever comes down. We're pretty far away from that ever mattering at this point. He found a uh, swamp. And an uh, island. Yeah, that's a start. All right, and looks like I'm... Oh, he actually, I think he hit three lands. Because only one other card went to the graveyard for Mulch, so... Yeah, so Paul's going to think twice. Decided to do that instead of casting Thread Inspector, which is nice. It also gets to think twice in the yard for him to flashback eventually. Yeah, he hit a swamp, an island, and a hinterland harbor. Wow. All right, Inspector. You see yeah. all these cobwebs. Da, 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 What's that mean? Inspector Thread. <laughs> All right, so this Armored Scob gets... I think he got a couple more creatures in the yard. It's pretty good. Dream Twist and some other thing. What card of Marshall's would be Dr. Claw, then, if uh, we have Thraven Inspector? We have Thraven know? Inspector? Maybe it's the Scob. <laughs> Dr. Claw? Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, some of those Scobs have weird hook hands. That that probably works. We could get yeah, 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 no, Inspector Gadget. Uh, I'm serious. Hey, look at him. Yeah, look, he's like, oh, that's not, that's not a hand. It's like a scythe or something. Ah, <sighs> close, but no cigar. Oh, did he draw Terminus? He drew Terminus, yeah. There was no real point to Terminus there, though. No, not at all. I mean, like, these, the, you know, the Scob and the Thraben Inspector kind of bounce off each other, so. Also, he can just keep this to eventually undo whatever Marshall's doing if it gets to the point on the board where Marshall's doing, like, when Marshall's board looks like it did last game. Yep. Another Evolving Wilds. Paul's good at drawing Evolving Wilds on the opponent's turns. Yeah, he is. Um, Those miracles you know, aren't happening. I think this. I think these froggies are gonna do some major work. Remember, it's whenever one or more land cards are put into your graveyard from anywhere, anywhere. you draw a card. Yeah. So like he plays Get Rog Monster. If he untaps, he's like Dream Twist, Dream Twist, Dream Twist, because he can flash back the one already in his graveyard yeah, yeah, as yeah. well. It's just like. Bleh. Yeah, but th Paul does have that terminus, so. If Marshall extends too much into this, like he is making his land. Oh, he miracled the devastation tide. Once again, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't do anything on this board. That's unfortunate. So Paul has miracled the cards that didn't matter at the times that didn't matter. Yeah. Jeez, in the port That's town he can't even play untapped. Poor Jace. Poor Jace. So here comes the monster. He did the mush. He, he did the bada beam, bada boom. <laughs> it, it was an inner strods. No, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> All right, so Paul thinning the deck a little bit, flashbacking that thing twice, probably. Uh, definitely looks like it. Yeah. All right, terminus wouldn't be bad. Oh, evolving oils again! Whoa! So good, Paul. <laughs> so wild. If you know you're always going to draw an Evolving Wilds against your opponent, does it change the way you play? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, he, oh, he might just bounce it. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So Jason Raveler's Secret's coming down. Ooh. I mean, Gitrog into Mulch, or rather, Gitrog into Dream Twist myself is pretty solid, too. Oh, Ooh. he should, shouldn't he do this main phase? Right, yeah. Yeah, 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 he did, and he gets to make an extra land drop, too. Oh, no, I meant uh, Dream Tw Twist himself main phase. Oh, the Dream Twist himself? Uh, yeah. I think so. Because if he gets a land, he can also yeah, just cast it again. He... <gasps> right, right. It's a miracle! Oh, 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 oh. This one's for a lot. This is for, what, five angels? Uh-oh, four of them. All right. Wow. Hey, Gabby, right. how many times do you have All to do right. four damage to equal 20? Oh, that! look at that angel token. <laughs> <laughs> Marshall does not have any creatures with reach, right? The frog doesn't, like, miraculously re jump up to eat one of those angels? It's it, oh, it, it's not like a frog tongue. These are called, card called frog tongue in magic. Why doesn't this oh, guy have reach? Really, does it give reach? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty flavorful. But these if frogs the, don't If the get rog had reach, it would be flavorful. Jeez. Wow. Actually, art for a frog tongue is kind of silly. It's a guy, and he's, like, spitting his tongue out. And, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so here comes the froggy again. Although Marsh is just dead on board. Well, he can, yeah, he can, yeah. Silent departure of one of the angels. I guess he's dead in two turns. Mm -hmm, yeah. All right, miracle. No, nope. oh, it's just the planes. Paul's very good at miracling lands. <laughs> now remember, 
Uh, there are not of the bones in Marshall's deck. He doesn't currently have any. Yeah, he doesn't have any in the yard either, right? No, I do believe not. Yeah, I don't think so. I think Paul just yeah attacked with his Thraben Inspector. Pretty good. Oh, that is yeah, <laughs> the little th Thraben Inspector that could not. The inspector walked into the marsh, was like, hey, what's <laughs> up? What's these tracks? Why is this person's boots over here on the shore? Why would they go swimming? And then they got eaten. That's all there is to it. Oh, uh, poor Inspector Thraben. As many humans at Innistrad found its way into the wrong bar and probably got... All right, mulch and hit a knot of the bone in the graveyard. Come on, Marshall. Cool. Make a game of it. Make a game of it. Oh, knot of the bone, please. I did not see one. No. Well, the other thing too is Paul can actually tap uh, Marshall's frog, so it doesn't even really matter that there's no Inspector Thraben, to or Thraben Inspector. <laughs> Miracles win this time, it would seem, but that's okay. We got the frog down, even though it did. It was cool. <laughs> it was cool. Times. It's also how, how would Jace bounce a frog, or the Gitrog monster? You know, if if this know, was in the storyline. Kind of looks like Gidrog Monsters eating Jace if, if you <laughs> take a look closely at the art of the card. I just don't even. I mean, I get. I understand expose evil, but uh, I don't know how Jace returns a Gitrog Monster to to its marshy marsh. Oh, returns it to his marsh. Get it? Returns it oh. to his marsh. A plus, Kenji. A plus. <laughs> Chat, rate that joke A plus, please, because it clearly. Was. <laughs> You're like, please be generous. It was good. It was good. I'll give it a solid like, like. A minus, I think. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, flashes back Dream Twist, and does he hit anything though? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, oh, the bone. Oh, the bone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing like F's. Hated. I'm seeing F's in chat, and I'm F is for fun, or F is for friends that do stuff. F is for friends. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, chat's being kind of savage. He he went from eight to twenty six life from not of the bone. Holy well, guacamole. Wow, that was kind of exactly what he needed to draw at exactly the right time. All right, we're going to make this into a game. So for those of you at home who don't know what Nod the Bone is, a classic Innistrad draft staple, one green, two colorless, instant. You gain two life for each creature card in your graveyard, and it has flashback. You can do it again. So much value. Yeah, unfortunately for Marsh, though, the one that he played was one that he milled, and it was in the graveyard, so... As it looks right now, and th as things stand, he can't really gain life again. So he has this to deal with this uh, 15 clock. Like, he's on a one turn clock again. You know? Is, is he? Four, eight, no, yeah, two turns still. He has. Are, oh, there are four, four angels. Yeah, so he has two turns. Yeah, you're right. Ooh, that's. that's but still, that's two, tur time. That's, that's two turns. <laughs> that's plenty of time to say. I'm like, that's not a lot of time. <laughs> So that's plenty, and in fact, Marshall has at least another Silent Departure and Dream Twist in his graveyard. What is nice for uh, Marshall, though, is that because Paul has Angels on the board, he's not incentivized to cast any of his uh, Bounce Everything cards. So there are two Jaces. What in this? What is this world? <laughs> another Frog. Oh no, sorry, another Hinterland Harbor. Yeah. Frog got bounced with the new Jace. Feeling of dread on a zombie. I don't know how zombies feel dread, but I guess I guess I'll allow this. <laughs> Punish for the flavor fail. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so here comes some worms. And remind, remember, everybody uh, watching currently, you can vote on the flavor of these decks. Uh, Randy has been posting the the little straw poll that we have, where you can say how flavorful and how. Um, cool or how cool the combo was and how much you liked the deck so I encourage everybody to go vote combo or lack thereof <laughs> so these boneyard worms are what nine nines right now that certainly looks to be the case dang as is the splinter fright oh he drew the he drew the entreat the angels right now off of the thought scour and didn't get to miracle which is unfortunate for Paul let's see scry and all right. Oh, no, no, that, that wins. No! Oh! oh why oh, yeah, he just cast Temporal Mastery and attacks again. This is what we were talking about pregame, too. Like, if Paul is able to take a couple of turns extra and then he just has a board presence with a couple of angels, 
And Marshall just doesn't have reach. He does no way to interact with these flyers. So it looked like he was maybe set for a comeback here, but it's not going to be so. We still haven't seen a single spider spawning in <laughs> any of these games. Paul's taking extra turns just because. <laughs> He's going to pass. Oh, I thought he was going to pass the turn and attack again. <laughs> in the third turn. Uh, oh, savage. CSL right. Paul C wins. Looks like we're going to see a game three between the Miracles and the Spiders. All right, so this time we can actually take a look at what they're sideboarding in. So it looks like Marsh is, oh, he's digging those. He sided a lot of them out. Oh, I see that, that makes he's sense. putting a lot of them back in. He left one, it seems. Yes, Marshall, the Severs. They own Sever. the Angels. <laughs> Let's see so, what Paul's doing. He's bringing in those Declaration and Stone. Yeah, that seems pretty good to take care of those Boneyard Worms. Oh, that's... Yeah, Declaration Exiles, that's pretty good, too. Yeah, 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 he gets him. <laughs> gets him permanently. I mean, I mean, he gives Marshall clues, but it doesn't seem like he cares too much about giving him a clue. Paul's not bringing in any of those dissipates in his sideboard, right? So Sever the Bloodline is just insane versus him. Yeah, so Sever the Bloodline, one black, three color, sorcery, exile target creature, and all other creatures with the same name as that creature, and it has flashback. So if, if Marshall's able to sever an angel, all of the others are, you know, just ruined as well. Good, 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 get him. <laughs> All right, so it looks like Marsh is ready. Yeah, those those Knot of the Bone should help him a lot in game three, for sure. People in chat are saying, how is Sever the Bloodline flavorful at all against uh, Angels? It's because it does it. It's a, it's a huge flavor fail. We probably need to call a flavor judge. Who, who's the resident flavor judge here? Resident flavor judge. Uh, hmm. I feel like Marsh is a pretty good flavor judge, but... He's the one that's committing the possible infringement, so... <laughs> yellow flat, yellow card. Paul's still opting to uh, look at his sideboard. Don't do it! No, not the counters! <laughs> Leave him out. Counter spells, boo! <laughs> oh yeah, the loading and ready run guys could, uh, could be our flavor judges here. Maybe they can weigh in and chat and let us know if this is uh, an infringement or what we should do about it. There we go. Graham the man. <laughs> Graham the man. He's bringing out some of those declarations, and I think he brought in more thought scours. Gabby, do you know I have a uh, get rock monster of my own? You do. Yeah. Like, like an actual. F oh, it's that guy. <laughs> yes. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's a pretty good impression. Oh, that was a terrible impression. All right, all right. Here we are for game three between you, Marshall... Here I am trying to give you a compliment against this miss so hard. All right, all right. Uh, between Marshall on Spider Spawning and Paul Chion on Miracles. <sighs> Poor Kermit, I'm like sorry. A, it looks like the Knot of the Bone might eventually uh, do some work for Marsh, but he doesn't have any of the creatures that care about milling, though. Hopefully that, uh, that Scob starts getting some of those critters in there. Oh, he has a turn two drain. Oh, he doesn't have the island. Never mind. Whoops. Mm. Oh, Marshall is going to need some help here. Oh, yeah. It's kind of, it's, yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, I think, did he mulligan? Did we know of he mulliganed? Yeah. Both they mulliganed both once. Did. Okay. No, not like this. Not like this. Go hands like this. <laughs> not like this. <laughs> uh. Oh, I think he actually hit a miracle. Yeah. It he was. paused for too long. You could tell. He had to click yeah. no. <laughs> Not very good right here. Not really a miracle. Would have been nice if he actually got a 4-4. Four -four. A 4-4 four -four would do a lot right now. <laughs> oh, Marshall, please! Oh, not like this! Too many blue cards. Alright, so Paul's gonna think twice. Uh, more lands? Oh, that looks like a miracle again! Oh, descend! Doesn't really do anything here. I guess it'll be nice to... Oh, <laughs> the chat's going nuts with him. Not like this. Actually, Marshall only has nine blue sources, but he does have two, uh, lots of mulch as well. Oh, he drew a sp spider spawning. All right. There's a, he, unfortunately, he can't. Like, he doesn't have anything. I know. Like, he needs to draw a blue source, like, now. There you yes! go. Yes! Yes, Marshall. Yes. Paul's playing the Miracles deck, but Marshall had the true miracle. <laughs> Come on. Spider spawning, deranged mulch, land. All right. Whatever. All right. It's a start. Yeah. And he gets to do it again. Wow, it was looking like this wasn't going to be a game, but we got ourselves a game. <laughs> Paul hit Terminus off of that end of turn, thought Scour, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, 
Paul can cast uh, Paul can entreat for two angels right now, can't he? No, sorry, he needs the triple white. No, he needs a triple white, so he's close. If he draws another white source, then he can. All right, Marshall, show me Let's the goodies. Another scub. This one hits Dream Twist, Forest Mulch, and a Boneyard Worm. Ugh. You know what's pretty so gross versus spider spawning? Hmm? You know what's pretty gross versus spider spawning? And this and this. Oh. Yes. Oh, God, you're right. Paul does have that in hand. Uh, this is going to be so savage if Marshall works towards the spider spawning. It's going to be... Oh, <laughs> they're going to stone the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he he hit a miracle. Apparently, he's pausing on his draw step, he's unless he's thinking. just feigning. Well, he could be psyching him out, but no, it was it was temporal mastery. Oh, wow, he didn't use it, so he's gonna wait until he has an extra planes to get some angels first. Another blue source for Marshall. Wow, all right. Actually, Look at not, these scubs. No fear. It's not very good, is it? Because he's gonna double derange the system and just get terminus out. He's gonna get terminus out of this though. Paul has nothing that he cares about. I mean, he needs to find another white source, but he's just going to get Terminus here. Marshall oh. has nothing. He can spider spawning afterwards, but we know that Paul has Declaration and Stone, so... Oh, these spiders are not long for this world. Did he, hit, he hit another miracle, didn't he? Oh, it was to me. Or Jace. <laughs> I get scared every time I see that draw step. It's like, yeah, he did it again! <laughs> Oh, and getting that, yeah, this is so nice too for Paul because he gets to get the Planeswalker in play, then he gets to, you know, take another turn and keep activating the Planeswalker. So nice. Oh, if he ultimates Jace and counters the first spell of Marshall's turn. Oh, I guess that's not that bad. He has like Dream Twists and stuff, or Silent Departures. He that can jump. burn some stuff, but another Spider Spawning. All right, dream, dream Twist hits another Dream Twist, another Spider Spawning, and a Splinter Fright. Hmm. Cool beans, cool beans. Paul's hand is just so stacked, though. And I think yeah. Marshall here is going to start like, playing some of the stuff out. He has to. Yeah. I, I mean, I think we're going to see Scab into Spider spawning, and then Paul's going to get rid of them very, very sadly. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I'm so excited to see the spiders, though. I do hope it happens, even if they're about to die very... He, kind of he doesn't even get that many spiders right now, honestly. <laughs> He gets four currently? Yeah, just four? Ugh. It's, four is not zero. <laughs> four spiders are enough to take out one angel. That's that's sad face. No space. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, you know, the spiders have reach, so... Oh, he found a miracle. He totally did it. Oh, no, he didn't. He psychs you out every time. Well, he has the he has the miracle. He has the miracle fake trigger. out, right? Yeah, yeah it's um, setting an empty geo. Yeah. Oh, this is about to be so savage. <laughs> Jeez, it's like, uh, yeah, that's all there is to say. Uh. Yeah, uh, is right. Oh. <laughs> at least the spiders didn't get stoned to death. They went to heaven. Look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so he still has a Descend and a Declaration. Ooh, a Splitter Fright. Splitter Fright is something. Yeah, that's a start. Well, I don't know if he's, like, Jace can just bounce that for a long time. He has Expose Evil. Well, he has a couple Spider Spawnings in the yard, too, so... They're still so weak. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> four Spiders is better than no Spiders. Let's see. How big is that Splinter Fright? It's like a 4-4, four four, I think? Yeah. yeah. So there are only four creatures in Marshall's graveyard, and he's 25 cards into the deck. Can we get confirmation if uh, Paul has Delirium? Because he could also just get an angel and start bashing with that guy. I see Sorcery, Instant, and Planeswalker Land. Yep. Oh, he so he does. Yeah, so he could potentially descend sometime soon. Oh, he just Miracle Devastation Tide, I think? He drew it. I, I, he wants the Jace to keep going up, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he... Yeah, he's going to bounce that Splinter Fright. All right, here comes the Angels. That's yeah, so a hard cast. No miracles here, but this is probably going to do it against Marshall. He does have the ability to gain some life, but these hit for uh, quite a bit of damage each turn. And he does have these uh, Temporal Masteries, so if Marshall can't do anything here, so he just gets to go make take a turn, attack, take a turn, attack. 
you're dead. Yes, Marshall! <laughs> yes! Spend yeah. all your time waiting for no. that second chance. <laughs> for a break, wow. I will make it okay. Yes. In the arms of an angel. <laughs> Fly away. <laughs> get served or get severed. Am I right? Wow. <laughs> They got served is what they got. Holy the best part cow. is he can already flash it back from his graveyard too. That was unreal. Paul had the game. Paul had the game. That was a clutch sever. We are going to have to get a ruling on this, by the way, because it happened. Bias? There's no bias in the commentary. I I, I wanted to see a great game, and we're seeing a, you know, a prolonged game. This is a fantastic game. game. It doesn't get better than miracling sever the bloodline when he's about to be dead. That's incredible. <laughs> Oh no, more stones! More J. Wait. More Jace. Oh, did he devastation tide? Oh, that's what happened, I see. Yeah. Well, uh, Marshall still has a splinter fight. It's just look at Paul's hand, though. Like, Paul can't lose with his hand. That's a, that's a thing. The thing is that even with the whole thing happening, even with Sever the Bloodline, like, Paul can't lose with his hand. Yeah, well, okay. So, one entreat gone. Two entreat gone, actually. Right? Yeah, what other win conditions? Let me take a look at his deck list real quick. He has the Descend in his hand. That can make one for That four. makes one Angel, but... And I guess Marshall can handle one Angel. And yeah, the Severn is in the yard, so that could take care of that Angel. It's just the four Entreat and the, uh, the Descend, I think. Oh, I guess Tamiyo the Moonsage Ultimate usually wins the game. Not if his Entreats are gone. That's true. Uh, how else can he win? <laughs> Thraven Inspector going all the way seems unlikely. <laughs> I don't. But, oh, okay. Here we go. So here we go. So he starts taking turns here. Oh, there's an entreat. The angels right there. He just drew it. And he's gonna ultimate Jace here. Yeah. Because he has another uh, temporal mastery in hand. Boo this man. Jace, Jace is in hiding. He's too scared. Things are too spooky in Innistrad. <laughs> Miracles doing what they do. Wow. What a game, though. That was exciting. <laughs> I like how you said was exciting, because it's not going to be exciting for <laughs> much longer. It's not going to be exciting for too long anymore. He can't go. <laughs> Arja can't win. He just can't win here. Yes, chat. Boo this man. Boo this <laughs> man. He's got no ghosts. He only has angels. Actually, what no, the, the angels did me? die earlier, so he he's gonna have to get new angels. Don't forget, don't forget what happened to them. I thought the bloodline was severed. What's going on here? Well, uh, you, you know, it's uh, <laughs> that thing, you know, that thing. Uh, Twenty-one cards left in Paul's library. Dream twists can go to either player, by the way. How sick would it be if Marshall milled Paul out? That'd be pretty sick. Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be pretty sick, but he's not close. How many cards does he have? 20? There's one Let's... Dream Twist in his graveyard. I think one is already exiled, maybe two. Ooh, here it is. The Descent. Bleh. <sighs> Those fishermen never saw it coming. All right, yeah, here comes two. Tamio. Yeah, and then after this, he can just take an extra turn. I mean... Does he? Does, did he cast the temporal this turn? Does he have an extra turn? No, already? he didn't cast it. He All cast right. ascend into Mio. So Marshall here responds with not of the bone. It buys him some time. Oh, so he flashback dream twist. Yep. And hit junk. It looks like a uh, mulch uh, land. I think it's a woodland cemetery. And All right, one. Oh, okay. Another dream. Twist. Save it. Hit him. Mill him. <laughs> I mean, at some point you start thinking that maybe that's your out. Like. Like, he could actually start thinking that this is maybe his out. He gets five spiders? That's oh, this is spiders. Yeah. Yeah, but then declaration into Tim Jace Ultimate, into Temporal Mastery, into LOL Kappa. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that we weren't going to see these spiders get stoned, but I think it's going to happen. <laughs> I guess Lithomancy. Oh, did he miracle that? He doesn't, he doesn't even want to cast it, though, because he can just stone the poor spiders. <laughs> Uh. 
I, I, again, I think it just comes goes back to Marshall. You know, stumbling oh, really early and then having so few creatures. God, he doesn't so, even get the clue. Nope. Oh. Yeah, Paul going for max value. So he's at 16. So Paul Paul could cast a really big entreat here, or he could just temporal mastery and and uh, take another turn. I kind of like playing the entreat. I think he's he just going to take another turn and then ultimate Jace. Oh yeah, you're right. He is in in ultimate range. Yeah, so it yeah. This is game. <laughs> game. Uh, as uh, sad as I am to say, it does look like the miracles are going to take it. It was almost a comeback though. That was cool. It's very sweet. So Oh, there you go. Jason Womp Womp. womp. Uh, so sad. Never happy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he just casts his entry to. Oh no, just... never mind. There's a sever in the graveyard. Oh, and he right. gets to. He, he got to double Tamiyo. Ugh. E right, so some of those. So three of them stay tapped. What are these? More spiders coming out? I don't think. Does he. Mm. No, he needs seven mana for that. He used Dream to, me... to trigger Jace's ultimate, and now he's just going to cast whatever's left in his hand. Yeah, and he gets to gain some life here, so... I mean, the nice thing for Marshall is that Paul only has one angel. What he doesn't know is that Paul also has an entreat in hand, so... <laughs> Pretty savage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, that's all I have to say about this. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh. yeah about that. <laughs> it, it went from interesting back and forth to... Yeah, ultimate Jace, and my grip has been insane. A pretty slow and gruesome death. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds about right. A devastating draw. Mm. Uh, so I saw people in chat asking. Marshall does have a Lab Maniac, but he is not. He's not going to be in range to Lab Maniac win this game. He still has to fight through a Jace emblem. Yeah. And he has no cards in hand. He has a couple cards in the graveyard, and Paul has six cards in hand. So... I will say this, though. It's kind of flavorful. So Jace, you know, he was looking, he, was, he had clues, right? He, he found Tamiyo finally. They're working in tandem. <laughs> They're defeating all these zombies and stuff along the way. It's, and they found some angels. I don't know how they converted them back to good, but, uh, you know, it's, at least we got some storyline going here. So this was good guys versus evil guys, and I guess the good guys did win. I guess the angels prevail in Innistrad so far, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next couple of matches. This is uh, this is pre shadows angels going yes. on right now. Yeah, they're not crazy yet. They're they're still good guys. They're trying to protect the humans. They're not like crazy and killing everyone. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This is, what, a huge entreat? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Three, one, two, three. This is only for three. So Marshall needs to draw a one drop. Oh, he ulted to me. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, all right. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Seems good. JPEG. Yeah, cameo emblem, very difficult to beat. You have no maximum <laughs> hand size, and whenever a card is put into your graveyard from anywhere, you may return it to your hand. So you basically don't run out of spells. Right, so Marshall isn't dead yet, right? He has the Dream Twist. He can he can proc the the Jace emblem by casting one of the scabs, and then yeah. Dream Twist and not. Uh, I don't even. That's know. what's so rough, though. Like he needs to run up the first thing for no value, and then the second thing you can play isn't even good. Yeah, this is another expose evil. <laughs> oh no, that's the, that's the same one. That's the same one that came back from his hand or from his graveyard from Tamiyo. Oh, you're right. That's right. That's right. Paul's just going to draw infinite cards. Right? That's right. That's how Tamiyo Emblem works. Uh, well, we're still on. Yeah, we're still on Marshall's turn. So he's. I guess he's just debating what to do here. Well, he could. Uh, he still has that Sever in his graveyard, correct? Yeah, but that costs seven, so he... he yeah, so he can't cast that yet. He's no. not dead next turn, though, so he can gnaw this turn, gain some life, hold that scob, 
get that scout countered next turn, and then cast Sever. He doesn't have enough mana to do that either. He needs to draw land, and then he can do all of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, he had another, but not the bone. Oh, cool. I, I guess that's good. I mean, four angels, it's still, what, three turn clock here, and then Mar uh, Paul's going to entreat again. He's just... He's just tapping down his own stuff to get clues. Look at this trollage. He's like, alright, I've won. I can finally have some fun here. <sighs> <laughs> so Marsh is not dead yet. He is at 40 life, though. The, the life totals are not indicative of what's actually happening in this game of magic right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he draws a land, he can do the whole thing, though. He, he that is true. To, he will be able to kill those angels, so... <sighs> here comes the... He doesn't even need to entreat. It doesn't matter, it just comes back to his hand. Yeah. So Marshall needs to draw a land, and then cast Scob or Dream Twist from uh, his graveyard to counter, to get countered by to, uh, Jace's emblem, and then Sever, and then Paul just makes more angels again next turn. Yeah. <laughs> He's not even like making it for the full value. He's just going to keep casting his Expose Evils and getting close. Whoa! Whoa, okay. That doesn't do anything, actually, but... No, he can... It buys him no, more time. No, he can. He can't do anything. <laughs> it, buys him, it buys him another turn, it at least. It buys him another turn. He, so he runs out... No, but the problem is this. He runs out the scob and runs out the, the knot of the bone. Now he doesn't have a spell to get countered to the next Jace emblem. And oh, he's, he needs... He has the dream twist in his graveyard. Oh, so he can flashback the dream twist and then... Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, he, he'd still need to hit a land, though, in that instance. Oh, an angel's jumping in front! Yeah! Value! <laughs> Got him. That's two extra life. Oh, baby. <laughs> Little did Paul know. He is at 11 cards. Yeah. Paul's at 11. I, man, oh, God. So Mar if Marshall draws another Dream Twist, I think he might be able to mill. Yeah, because he has, he has... That's 11 cards for Paul? Yeah, so here we go. Not of the bone. This one actually... How much life is he going to get? 38? Okay, so... He basically time walked him. <laughs> All right, another not a done. Fifty four. Okay. But, but this is still a two turn clock, right? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty four, twenty eight. Yeah. Did not usually seen killed from fifty four two turn clock, but <laughs> <laughs> he could draw land. Right. Right. So, how how does Marshall win this? Uh, I, I think it is by milling Paul out. It has to be milling. He can't possibly win with... He's not going to win with damage. He's not uh, going to win by killing the angels. It, it's yeah, it's the darn Jace emblem right now. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> Wait, no, that gets countered, so he has... No, don't do it, Marshall! You need to, okay. It's going to get countered. It's going to get countered. He needs you to dream... Yeah, he has... Ooh. <laughs> My little heart can't take that. So here we go, so flashback counter. There you go, so there's a dream twist. Sever. Yep. Yeah. Alright. So Marshall doesn't know this because he can't see Paul's hand, though he can make assumptions given that uh, Paul has nine cards in hand. This still does nothing. So just going for the mill plan and maybe hoping that you just draw like like, mill, mill, hope he mills. That's not even a good plan. That doesn't even do it. <laughs> Wait, is he producing enough angels here for lethal? Uh, no, he's not. No, it's 24. Okay, so Marshall needs to draw, like... Oh, Marshall can win this if he draws Dream Twist plus one this other is spell. 25 with oh! a Thurman Expector. Oh! Oh, no, no, never mind. He already used the other Dream Twist in his graveyard. I lied. Never mind. No, he, he flashbacked it. It's, it's the one that got countered a second ago. So, wait, Paul's going to hit here for 25. But Sever doesn't kill the three-minute inspector. <laughs> uh, is it going to be Inspector Thraven that, that finishes the game here? It's Inspector Thraven's on the case. Let's see. Oh, it's two of them. All right. Wow, more angels for the sick rubbins. Paul cracked a single clue? He shouldn't, because he has eight cards. Aww. 
<laughs> Just like that, it looks like Paul Chion is going to win his match 2-1 to one over Marshall Sutcliffe, who was played, playing Spider Spawning. That moves Paul to 2-0 and oh overall. Uh, Marshall, did he win last week or lose? I don't remember. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll Either get the standings way. up later uh, through the night, so we'll get to see how everybody's doing in the league so far. But that was that was cool. That looked like a very, very, very difficult match for Marshall. So hats off to him for actually getting a game off of him because all of the bounce effects are just so good against what Marshall's doing. Yeah, gosh. Declaration yeah. in stones, the deposition tides, the terminus, just... Ugh. Yeah, it was, it was rough. But it was cool. It was cool seeing some spiders come into play. Here are the standings. All right, so Paul wins and... Oh, this is not full standing. So Paul is up here, but uh, I'm sure at the end of the night we'll get to see a recap of how everyone is doing. Marshall's Marshall did win last week, so he's now one and one. So these are the matches that are coming up. Next up, we have Magic the Amateuring versus TMS Wedge. That should be a good one. We don't know the deck lists yet, so... We don't know the deck list, so everybody gets to uh, be surprised when they see the awesome flavor of what everybody's bringing. And then the match right after that is going to be, you and me, bud. It's time to fight. Pow. Falcon yeah. Punch. Exactly. Falcon Punch. <laughs> so we'll get to see. It'll be a good flavor battle. I, I promise a good flavor battle on my end. I don't necessarily promise a good battle otherwise. I, uh... No comment. Yeah. No comment. All right. We will see how that goes. In any event, we have a lot more Community Super League coming up for everybody here. Stay tuned. Remember to vote on everyone's uh, decks. Uh, we have two standings. We have flavor standings and we have um, regular standings. There will be prizes for both. So regular standings, we'll see who did the best at the end of the league, like you would normally in any Magic tournament. And for flavor standings slash, what do we call it, Brewmaster? It's for whoever whoever's decks have the best quote-unquote flavor points or cool combos or just awesome interactions and, th and things like that. So remember to vote. Uh, the poll is going to stay up on YouTube as well. It's a straw poll in chat. Yep. So uh, we are ready to head over to ads. Uh, we're going to see a promo and we will be back with round two here at the Community Super League. See you later, everybody. Whether riding the bus or waiting for the pro tour.